I think, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, so this is number 10. So to do number 10, um, all we're simply going to do is, again, just pick e factor each one individually. All right? So we have number 10, and ne negative 10 is not a prime number. We can divide numbers into it other than 10 and 1. Five. So yeah, you can pick 5 and 2. and 2. Now remember, one of them has to be negative. And it doesn't really matter you know, which one you have. You can just break it down to negative 5 and negative 2. Break down x. Right? So we can break down x to the fourth, y really to the first, and z squared. Now we worked on z squared previously. right? That can be broken down into z times z. y to the first power. You can't divide anything else besides y and 1. So therefore, this is prime. You could do x squared. You could do x squared times x squared, which would be x times x times x times x. Uh, you need to represent them as multiplication. So it would be negative 5 times 2 times x times x times x times x times x times y times z times z. Is this all the next thing? I want you guys just to be working on this thing, OK? And then that would be your final factored form. That's so ugly to write that out. Huh? 